everyone welcome back to spectrum classes in this video i am summarizing all the points which are necessary to know how to draw the phase diagram so let's start with the video i'll just give you a brief overview about the phase diagram how it could be drawn and what are the important points or tips and tricks through which one can easily draw the phase diagram for any of the given phase so here i have drawn a phase diagram for the system which is having three different phases so here what you can see this yellow color this blue color and this pink color so here three different colors shows three different phases so three different phases are present now which phase will be the solid phase which phase will be the liquid phase and which phase will be the gas phase so this is important to understand you can memorize this if you draw a triangle like this then this will be your solid this will be your liquid and this will be your gas so through this triangle you can easily memorize this but this is a trick it is important to understand why this is solid okay so if we increase the pressure what is going to be happen suppose i am having some molecules inside this vessel here molecules are there so these molecule if i increase the temperature what is going to be happen kinetic energy of these molecules increases they will be far apart so if i increase the temperature so my gas phase will be the dominant one if i increase the pressure if i increase the pressure means i am putting this piston downward side these molecules come closer to each other at this condition liquid or solid phase will be more stable phases right so if we increase the pressure as we are moving upward so solid phase will be the dominant one at low temperature high pressure and low temperature will gives the solid phase and high pressure and high temperature will gives the liquid phase whereas low pressure and high temperature will gives the gas phase so this is the basic concept behind this this is also explained on the basis of the chemical potential but this video i have made for the bsc and btech student so i am not going into the terms chemical potential that i will discuss separately if you need you can write down in the comment section now you come to know this is our solid this is our liquid and this is our gas so if we are just talking about the equilibrium which is existing between solid and liquid phase conversion from solid to liquid on changing the temperature and pressure this is called melting melting from solid to liquid and from liquid to solid it is called freezing right so here this can be shown if equilibrium is existing here and this is called melting and from liquid to solid is called freezing and along this line there is an equilibrium between the solid and the liquid phase along this line right so remember this now between liquid and gas phase what you will have you will have vaporization and condensation so liquid to gas is called vaporization and gas to liquid is called condensation now coming to this solid and gas here i have drawn this so sublimation from solid to gas and condensation from gas to solid and you are very much familiar with this triangle in your school days right so this is how the phase diagram is drawn and this sublimation curve is more steeper because here solid to gas is formed so it is more steeper than this and this liquid solid will be depends on the caprion equation how we are going to draw this line right or this interface this is called triple point where all three phases meet together that is called triple point and beyond the critical point on increasing the pressure the gas phase will not be liquefied this is called superfluid right so this 
curve of vaporization or condensation or liquid gas will be drawn up to the critical point and beyond that we cannot draw this so these are the basic important features of a phase diagram for any of the system after this it is important how we are going to draw this solid liquid equilibrium curve right because it has positive slope as well as negative slope so how we are going to decide this whether it is positive or negative so this will be decided by the clefion equation which is used to determine the phase transition and phase boundaries so this clefion equation is dp upon dt is equal to delta s of transition upon delta v of transition here p stands for pressure t stands for temperature s stands for entropy and v stands for volume I derivation for this Clefion equation and Clefion's Clefion equation I have given in previous video in the series of phase transition. This equation can also be written to determine the effect of pressure on changing the temperature. So it can also be written like dT upon dP is equal to delta V molar divided molar. Or we can understand this delta V molar stands for V2 minus V1 divided by S2 minus S1. So where V2 and S2 are the volume and entropy of the second phase, whereas V1 and Vs are the volume and entropy of the first phase. So here I have drawn this phase diagram. Here you what you have seen, here it is negative slope. So we are going to explain this. Now coming to the relationship between the volume and density. If mass is same in both the phases, right? So volume is equal to mass upon density. Here it can be written like this. Volume is inversely proportional to density. In case of water, what you have seen, generally we have solids are more heavier or having more density than the liquid. But in case of water, it is just opposite. Here, ice cubes floats over the liquid water. Means ice cubes have low density or more volume. So, solid has more volume, liquid has less volume. In that case, if we are having V1 for solid and V2 for liquid, this transition from solid to liquid. If we calculate V2 minus V1 here, since V2 is lesser than the V1, because solid has more volume than the so v2 minus v1 will be is equal to negative so we get negative slope for this water phase diagram in case of solid liquid transition curve so this curve will be towards the negative side so this is how one can draw the water phase diagram so you should be very much aware about the direction of this curve or slope of this curve. Now, if we go for CO2 curve, here we are having this curve for CO2 is transition solid to liquid. Then in that case, what we are having, we are having liquid CO2 is having more volume than the solid CO2. Therefore, we are having V2 minus V1 positive in this case and what about the slope the slope for this curve will be the positive slope so this here you can see it is in the positive direction or towards the right hand so you should be very much careful of the slope of solid liquid phase transition curve now i will show you the water as well as co2 in one frame so here you can see this is the positive curve for the CO2 gas and this is the negative curve for the H2. Here in this case V2 is less than V1. V2 liquid volume is less than volume of solid. Therefore, they are having negative slope. But here in this case V2 is more than the V1. Therefore, we are having the positive slope. So, the only difference in CO2 and H2 phase diagram while we are drawing the picture 
this is the only difference right here you can see co2 phase diagram and here in case of sulfur we are having two solid phases and one liquid and gas solid rhombic and solid monoclinic so what you have seen here here this is the solid rhombic sulfur and here it is solid monoclinic sulfur so from solid rhombic to monoclinic volume increases right so we are having this positive slope and when we are moving from monoclinic to liquid sulfur the steepness of the curve is decreases here so this is more steeper than this so these are not for scaling but yes you can see both have positive slopes but it, this is more steeper than this because their change in volume is less as compared to so i hope you understand how to draw the slopes or phase diagrams for a given system and you understand all the basic points which we have discussed here which are necessary to understand while you are learning this phase diagrams because this is very important topic so i hope you enjoyed this video and you understand the concepts thank you thanks for watching